From conversations we've been having on campus, it's obvious that a lot of you don't realise the different streams of accounting that you can actually work in. So, we're bringing you out to meet graduates of the Chartered Accountants Program. G'day, Simon. Hello, Scott. How long have you been here at HLB, Manjard, and what exactly is your role? I've been here for seven years. I work as a senior accountant. I oversee guys in my team, work that they do. There's about 150 staff in the whole firm, and business services might be 60. So it's a fair chunk of the firm and what we do. And did you consciously choose to move into business services, or was it something you just fell into? When I spoke to the partner, when I started as a cadet, um, they told me about the different divisions, and I said, yep, yeah, business services, I think, is for me. So Scott, in very simple terms, what is business services? Business services is a very broad term. It could be from managing your investments or helping you run your business better to helping you manage your personal finances. Business services deals with a lot of tax issues and we sometimes get advice from the tax department in our firm. You must be interacting with a lot of the other streams of accounting that we've covered in our series. Definitely. We speak to the superannuation and financial planning, speak to audit when we do the tax returns, speak to business recovery and insolvency if our clients are having problems. Some of our clients have self-managed super funds, so we deal with the superannuation and financial planning division in our firm. And so it sounds like your clients also would extend right across the entire spectrum of business and, and even to individuals? Definitely. I have a lot of individual clients some who are professionals like doctors and barristers and we have a few large companies and many small to medium business. I love that you can be working for a multi-million dollar company one second and then the next minute get a call from a client asking about retirement benefits. So Scott, what sort of skills do students need to be successful in business services? Probably being a team player is one of the most important things. Problem solving skills is another, and probably the third is communication skills. And for students who've watched this and they're thinking, yeah, business services is probably a good fit with me, what would be your advice in terms of preparing for a career? Funnily enough, my advice is to get a job. I think that really helps set someone apart and allows them to listen and follow instructions a lot better than someone who hasn't had a job before they start work. What, from your observation, is the keys to success? Being able to listen to what people want, and also being able to know what people want even though it might not be what they ask. Is there a particular direction that you're guiding your career? Not sure. I mean one thing I have started is my own website which is nomoney.com.au and that gives free financial tips for young people. And what does success look like to Scott Kay? I love helping people and that's probably how I define success. How many people that I can help.